Shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles, the elders, the great millstone, who we will teach well. Much respect to you, brothers, laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity. Salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect, believing on the words of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. It's your brother Dawadah. Here at the Church of Birmingham, coming to you with a lesson, Lord willing, is edifying. I was watching the uh, repost of uh, GMS South Carolina, Elder Manata Zagba, and, and 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 the brothers. I was watching their live stream, you know, the uh, the repost, the replay uh, this morning, and the brother Aaron had a uh, you know big guy. He had said some uh, that inspired this lesson. He said, "Keep plowing, all right." And that's 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 what we got to do. We got to hold fast to what we have. We have to keep plowing. So this is going to be more of an exhortation, all right, to the brothers out there doing the work and the believers, because you know, believers they have work to do too. It's a it's a work to believe. Right, matter of fact, let's start out with that. Let's go to, <clears throat> excuse me, the book of John. Yep, I believe. John chapter 6. Right. This is John 6. And, yep, we start at verse 28. Then said they unto him, What shall we do that we might work the works of the Most High? All right. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, This is the work of the Most High, that ye believe on him whom he hath sent. You see, that ye believe on him, on believe on him whom he hath sent. All right. And that's for the believers. That's the work, man. All right? And you got to keep working. Just like the brothers got to keep plowing, got to keep teaching. Well, you got to keep believing. All right? You got to endure to the end. You know what? Let's go get that. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. See? We have to endure unto the end. All right? And and the Lord is not dealing with anybody that turns back, man. He's not. Okay? If you 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 come into this thing, man, it's for life. All right? What is what is the uh old um oh um mafia saying blood in and blood out? Well it's the same thing with your how by shout shot, man. All right? You come in this thing, you endure, you're gonna get saved. But if you leave, right, you're gonna die. Matter of fact. Um, let's see. But such as leave it shall die. Proverbs. Is it Proverbs? Let's see. Mm, that's a. Uh, Let's see if we can search it up. <clears throat> Damn. Is it, um, let me search this up right quick. Slacky. Slacky. I'm all in the wrong book. Let's go to Baruch. Baruch. If you leave this, guess what? You're going to die, man. Baruch, chapter 4, and verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High, and the law that endure forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, yeah, shall come to life. All right, being quickened in the spirit, and you're going to come to life. All right, that's the end of the story. 
if Salaki, if we endure unto the end, okay? It says, all they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die, you see? So you leave, all right, from following the ways they have by shall shot, you ultimately going to die, man. That's ultimately death for you, okay? Now, let's go to, because it's, it's, it's very important, okay, for the believers to keep believing, all right, and the brothers to keep plowing, all right? Keep doing those works that you have by shall shot have called for us to do, right? Everybody's not going to be a prophet teacher, okay? There's different offices, all right? But all of us are called on to believe. Matter of fact, let's get this right quick. All of us are called on to believe. Okay. Let's go to Hebrews. <clears throat> Chapter 11. In verse 6, it says, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You see? So you believers are diligently seeking how by Shao Sha, and the brothers is doing the work are diligently seeking how by Shao Sha. And the Lord says what? He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him, right? So we got to keep working. We got to keep plowing. We got to keep believing, right? Let's go to Luke. <clears throat> the book of Luke, chapter 19. And verse 13. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds. And said unto them, Occupy till I come, you know? Occupy in what? This truth. All right, stand diligently, making your calling and election sure. All right, believing as well as teaching. Right? For those who teach, right? And this is a, a first and foremost an exhortation for myself, man. All right? You know, you, um, this world, man, I hate this world, you know? And, and different things arise. But, you know, you got to keep plowing, man. All right? You got to keep working. Keep your head down and focus on this truth. Right? Let's go to uh, Ezekiel. <clears throat> and, and and the thing is, man, you, you're going to... Uh, you're going to uh, fall off the horse as it is, you know? But what are you going to do? Are you going to just stay there and lie down in the mud? Or are you going to get yourself up, you know, dust off, all right, and continue to work, man, right? You you, you just can't wallow in your uh, in your trials and tribulations, man, all right, because it's meant to make you better. This is Ezekiel chapter 18 and verse 24. But when the righteous turneth away from his righteousness and commit of iniquity, and doeth according to all the abominations that the wicked man doeth, shall he live? Yeah, you turn, all right, from your how by shall shall, after you understand what's pleasing to him, right? Matter of fact, let's get this right quick. You turn from your how by shall shall, after understanding what's pleasing to him, guess what? The Lord asking the question, shall he live? Let's get this right quick. Because the Lord has, um, has laid it out, man. He, he's uh, giving straight command. He's laid it out. There's no gray area. He, he, he's told the believers what the work they should do, right? And he told the workers what they should do, all right? It was a straight commandment. There's no gray area where you have by shall shall. This is Second Ezra, chapter 7, and verse 24, excuse me, verse 21. For the Most High have given straight commandment to such as Cain, what they should do to live, even as they came, and what they should observe to avoid punishment. So the Lord has made it plain and clear, all right? And straight meaning what? A level of difficulty. But he's made it clear what we have to do, all right, to avoid punishment, right? Let's go back again 
in Ezekiel chapter 18 and verse 24. But when the righteous man turneth away from his righteousness and committeth iniquity and doeth according to all the abominations that the wicked man doeth, shall he live? All his righteousness that he shall, excuse me, all his righteousness that he have done shall not be mentioned, you see? Don't matter how many videos you did, man. All right? It don't matter how many garments you made. If you stop believing, if you stop doing his work, guess what? It's not even going to be mentioned, right? It says, in his trespass that he have trespassed, and in his sin that he have sinned, in them shall he die. And that's it. All right, you turn from the Lord, you have by yourself shot. It's your death wish. We just read it in Baruch. It says, Yet ye say the way of the Lord is not equal. Hear now, O house of Israel. Is not my way equal? Is not your ways unequal? When a righteous man turneth away from his righteousness and committeth iniquity and die and die in them, for his iniquity that he have done shall he die. Again, when the wicked man turneth away from his wickedness that he have committed and do of that which is lawful and right, he shall save his soul alive, you see? And and, and that's the promise that Yahweh Bashar Shah said, set out, man. He said, what? He is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor. Love, let's get that. All right? And that ye do minister and continue. You got to continue. Yeah, let's go get that. Let's read that. <clears throat> Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 10. For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work. Yeah, man, that's talking about doing the work. And you believe what we just read. What uh, they ask you, how shy, what is the work that we must do? Uh, you have to believe on him who he have sent, right? It says again, Hebrews 6 and 10, For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints. Yeah, that word ministered means to serve, right? And do minister, that's continuing. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence, you see, to the full assurance of hope until the end. Why? Because we have a more sure word of prophecy, right? We see these things coming to pass, man. All right. And, and man, to uh, go back in the world now, you, you, you will never there in the beginning, just like we just read, you know, all his righteousness will be for, forgotten. It will not even be mentioned. It says that ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. You see? You know what? We got to patiently wait on the Lord. You have about your side to come back. All right? To understand that we got to keep plowing, keep believing, keep working. Right? Let's see. <clears throat> I got another precept and we'll close it out here. Staying in the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, and um, let's start at verse 36. For ye have need of patience, ye suffer, right? That after ye have done the will of the Most High, ye might receive the promise. That's the promise again, right? rulership <laughs> but more importantly salvation because you won't you know you won't have rulership without being saved right it says excuse me for yet a little while he that shall come will come see and will not tarry now the just shall live by faith you see that <laughs> the just shall live by faith you're gonna live right by having the faith of your heart by shall shine it says, but if any man draw back, that's drawing back and doing the work, that's drawing back and believing, right? But if any man draw back, 
my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition. You see, you draw back, you die. But to them that believe to the saving of the soul. You see that? Them that believe to the saving of the soul. So keep plowing. Right? Keep working. Keep believing. That's going to be it for the lesson. Lord willing, it's been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim. Yahweh Shah. Bahashim Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who we will teach with. Lord willing, covenant is your lesson. Till the next time I say, Shalom.